Hello, welcome to Simple IELTS. Today, we will talk about IELTS writing task 1, especially paraphrasing statistical data, which means we write the stati statistical data shown in our IELTS writing task 1 with our own words. We do that to increase our IELTS writing score because one of the criteria is we have to show a wide range of vocabulary. Okay. The first example is the line graph, where as you can see, the data are shown in percentage. As the title explains, percentage of tourists to England who visited Britain attractions. And the data are shown in percentage. The next example is table, where normally you find the data shown in percentage as well. The data, by the way, are not always shown in percentage, but normally you find them in percentage. The same thing for board chart. The data are normally shown in percentage as well. So it is really common to find data shown in percentage in IELTS writing task 1. And to increase our IELTS writing score, we should paraphrase by, for example, paraphrasing statistical data. Okay? Let's get started. The first thing that I would like to discuss is line graph. And in IELTS writing task one, we have one of the things we have to do is compare the data. For example, in 1980, the percentage of tourists to England who visited Britain attractions, especially festival, is 30%. As for percentage for peer is only 10%. So we can say in 1980, festival was a more popular tourist attraction than peer in Brighton, 30% and 10% respectively. And to boost up our IELTS writing score, we can paraphrase the data by explaining with fraction. 10% has the same meaning with 1 per 10 or 1 tenth. 30% has the same meaning with 3 per 10 or 3 tenths. Note there's an additional S here because if the number is 2, 3 or more, we add S here, behind here. But for 1, there is no S, okay? So let's compare the data with fraction. We can say that in 1980, festival was a more popular tourist attraction than pier in Brighton, three tenths and one tenth respectively. Okay, so that's an example of comparing the data with fraction. We can also compare the data with fraction and synonym. For example, for art gallery in 1985, the percentage is al was almost 40%, and in 1990, the percentage was approximately 20%, okay? So the percentage reduced by almost half or nearly half. Reduced by half has the same meaning with half, but because there's almost here, we can say nearly. So those are the synonyms, the synonyms. So in our essay, we can write that in 1985, the number of people taking a visit to peer reached its highest at almost 40%. Why its highest? Because from 1980 to 2010, the highest was in 1985. Notwithstanding, five years later, well, that's, that's a synonym for 1990, five years later after 1985. It nearly halved to approximately one-fifth, okay? Now let's talk about table. The contribution of various economic sectors to X country gross domestic product or GDP in 2016, 2017, and 2018. So I would like to take the industry sector for our discussion. In 2016, in 2016 it was 22%, 2017, 25%, 2018-30%. For 22%, we can say that it has the same meaning with more than 20%. Or, in fraction, it is 20 per 100 or 2 per 10. 
or we can say that 1 per 5. We can say that it is slightly above 1 fifth, okay? Just a little bit above or a little bit more than 1 fifth. As for 25%, it is more straightforward. It's 1 per 4 or 1 fourth, a fourth or a quarter. As for 30%, it's 3 tenths. 3 tenths, same, it's pretty straightforward. So, for an example of comparing the data, we can say that industry's output to X country GDP experienced a, a hike from 2016 to 2018, which were slightly above one fifth, a quarter, and three tenths, respectively. So, output has the same meaning, or the synonym is contribution. Experienced a hike has the same meaning with increased. So let's talk about another example. How to paraphrase 65% here in the service industry? 65% has the same meaning with 65 per 100 or 13 per 20 or we can we can say 13 twentieths or alternatively we can simply say above 60% or a little below two thirds or 67%. Now let's talk about war chart, especially the data in 2005, UK and USA. For the UK, the percentage of government spending on road and transport in 2005 was more than 5% or around 7 to 8%. As for USA, the percentage is exactly 15%, so the number for the USA doubled if we compare with the number or the percentage for the UK. So more than 5%, we can say over 5%. 15% has the same meaning with 15 per 100 or 3 per 20 or 3 twentieths. Now, we can write it like this. The UK government expenditure percentage in 2005 on transport and road was lower than that of USA over 5% and 3 twentieths respectively. Note that I wrote that off here is to, report, to, is to avoid repetition because we talk about the same thing here. Government expenditure percentage in 2005 on transport and road. Okay, that's, that's how you use that off. Okay, alternatively, we can say the UK, the UK government expenditure percentage in 2005 on transport and road was only over 5%. Nonetheless, the percentage for USA approximately doubled the UK's, which was 15%. So as I said before, the number for the UK was only over 5%, let's say 7 to 8%. As for USA, the number was 15%. So 15% is 7% times 2, or we can say double. So that's an example of how to use synonym in IELTS writing task 1. So in conclusion, we can paraphrase statistical data with fraction and synonym. For fraction, the examples are 10% or 1 per 10 or 1 tenth, 50%, has the same meaning has the same meaning with one per two or a half. Ninety-five percent has the same meaning with nineteen per twenty, nineteen twenties or above ninety percent. For sign and name, the examples are reduced by half has the same meaning with half. Increased by twofold has the same meaning with double. Thank you for watching until the end and see you in my other videos.